everyone, I'm Terry Rice, Data Creative Specialist for the Foundry. Let's take a look at the chroma keyer inside of Nuke Studio's timeline. Having a chroma keyer in our timeline is a great way to rough out a key and get a visual result over the background. It's also a nice workflow improvement because we'll be able to try out different takes to see what's working directly in the edit. We won't have to create a Nuke script or send it to the compositing department just to get access to a keyer. We can do it directly in our timeline. So I'm going to use this footage provided by Artifacts for our key. I'm going to select the footage, right click, effects, and choose a chroma keyer. This chroma keyer is built off of key lights. You're going to see some familiar attributes. It uses blink technology, so we're going to have real-time playback in the viewport using the GPU. So I'm going to select a screen color. I'm going to click my color picker, pick, and then I'm going to jump over to the alpha. Now the idea here is just to rough out a key. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I want to get fast results so I can see what this is looking like in the edit. So I'm just going to use a couple of attributes here. Let's go ahead and up the screen gain to remove some background pixels. Then I'm going to use the black point to remove the rest of them. Now we have some holes in our alpha, so I'm going to fill those in with the chroma gain. And that should work, so I'm going to jump out of the alpha. Now I want to see this on top of my background, so I'm going to select my video track, right click, and under editorial, I'm going to choose enable track blend. So once I do that, I can see the two combined and I can go ahead and play. And the chroma key is working in real time here, so I'm getting some nice quick feedback. Now he has some spill on the right side of his face and I can see a bit of a green hue, so I'm going to go down and use the custom spill bias, select the color picker, and then just choose a skin tone. And that's going to help even it out. A nice thing we can do in Nuke Studio is copy and paste soft effects. So if I have a bunch of takes in the timeline or many different green screens, I can go ahead and copy and then I'll paste it onto that clip. And that way we can get a quick result without spending too much time on it. Another thing we can do instead of copying and pasting is copy as clones. And this way we'll have one key that is controlling all of them and then we can declone them after and tweak them as we need them. So I'm just going to make a quick adjustment here. I'm going to add a transform because I can see some of the set piece at the bottom. So let's right click effects and then choose transform. And then I'm going to pull them down just so he's in frame like that. So now I want to create a comp out of this. I'm going to select my footage, right click effects and create comp. And then we're going to get a new VFX track. So I have a comp container in here. I'm going to double click it to jump over to the compositing workspace. So I just want to match the viewer's aspect ratio to our timeline, so I'm going to go ahead and select 235 and full. So now that we're in the compositing workspace, we can go ahead and make any additional tweaks or add any effects that we want. So for our foreground here, maybe we'll add some light wrap. So let's go ahead and add light wrap. And I'll plug the background into the background plate, and I'm just going to add a little bit of it. I just want it to be subtle just like that. It's also a great opportunity to add any additional effects that we want to in here as well. I'm going to select the right node, hit render, and I'm going to render to timeline. Now I could also save this comp, I could also save a new version of this comp, and we can have it update in the timeline. I could select the comp container, render, and render selected comp container to start the background render. I could also select the comp container and choose a different version, and we could start it that way as well. And this depends on the preferences that I have set.